Hello. Um, just a quick one. Uh, you're probably already familiar with the uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum emulator for Mac called Fuse. And, um, you know, as well as having up here on the help menu, it's got a little neat little graphic to remind you of the keys layout um, so that you can, you know, um, type uh, your uh, basic commands and of course all the keys are you know so that was the the p key is bound to print and j is bound to load and go to on g and all of the rest of it but what if you can't remember the key combinations from way back in the day and you want to just type these commands well as it turns out if you go into the preferences menu or preference settings uh, in the machine section you see I have all these different ROMs that correspond to the location of those ROM files in this folder here or in this settings pane here and you can choose what type of uh, machine you want to boot into because there was lots of different iterations of the uh, Sinclair basic um, installed on different machines around the world and here down at the bottom Spectrum SE if we just reboot the machine see not only do we get a rather nice uh, white on black interface but you can just type out the commands um, with regular text so you don't have to remember what all the key combinations are to get certain things up there um, oops now, th that is a, an interesting bug actually it sometimes um, it sometimes binds to the key shortcuts and you have got to start typing over again I'm not sure what that's all about um, but yeah uh, if you delete what you've typed and then enter it again it works he says come on there we go yeah a little strange keyboard behavior on some of it um, but yeah so that's rather nice and as you can see once it enters the um, the command into the list uh, of commands <laughs> whatever this section up here in Sinclair basic is called um, it, it capitalizes them and sort of translates them into the correct uh, syntax. So that's cool. <laughs>